we're ahead of the cold with Clay Matthews, who has done a bunch of hunting right down to even hunting mountain lions. That's right. But never a duck. Never a duck. It's my first time duck hunting. I'm excited. Already seen him flying around here, so. No, it'll be good. We can knock some down today. Everyone I know from Wisconsin is 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 real excited about this. They still claim you as your own. Yeah, I'm a uh, Wisconsinite <laughs> at heart. You know, you're an honorary Wisconsinite. Yeah, honorary Wisconsinite. So my friend, uh, my friend Pat Dirk, and is gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be giving him updates. He's a deer rider, but he don't hunt during Packers games. No, as you should. That's all. That's all that is up there. Beer, <laughs> broths, and Packers. So we're gonna do that. And then also, if something happened I didn't know about, you can't see him. Max, can you aim your camera at Chili? Chili's only ever gotten a, um, what'd you get? Gold Nothing wrong with a gold knife. He's gonna, get, hopefully Chili's gonna get his first mallard today too. So once Clay gets his self, his program into control, Chili's gonna jump in and get a mallard. And that's what we're gonna do today. It should be okay. To tell you right now, my very first duck ever was a golden eye. Was it really? Yeah, up on the Flathead River. So. My first duck was a woody, which is just a function of where you grow up. I guess uh, we got a pretty good uh, bet on what Clay's first duck's going to be. But you might hear a golden eye. You might see a teal. You'll see mallards. Now are we yeah. are we smashing. Golden eyes and teals and mallards. If you see a teal, golden eye, no. If you see a teal, I'm gonna go get him. And then mallards, green heads right. only. No females. Which is that's exactly. not the law. Yeah. That's not the law. You're allowed seven ducks, but no more than two hens. Right. But the landowner doesn't like us shooting the hens. Understood. Because you can tell them apart. So if you can tell them apart, just shoot the males. All right. You got it. Yeah. When talking about shooting birds, like ducks, he said, well, I got a turkey. But it's like turkeys, they don't, they ain't moving. So that don't count. But I think he got a pheasant. We'll see. <laughs> They're talking back. It's probably that same bird. This wind is not ideal. So that might be our shot right there. And when we first saw him, that, that was well within range. Okay, there's a single out in front. This is a really good duck spot. <laughs> well, you know, that's how you get people hooked, you know, it's the bait and switch. You got the mountains in the background. Oh yeah. Then you wind up out at, you know, you wind up out in some slough by your yard and hunt for three days and yeah. get, get like a hen woody. This guy here is way into ducks. If that duck has a band, he's gonna know it from against the ground. The leg will already be missing by the time the dog <laughs> brings it in. I'll be like, this duck's got one leg. <laughs> He's, he's hooking around your side, Steve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a fatty. Ooh, there's a big liftoff happening. Clay, it's really fun when you get these big, big flocks in, you know, and like everybody's shooting yeah. and it's, it's, it is super cool, but it would be a very hard argument to say like, what's better, right? Mm -hmm. Like single birds coming in, really doing it right, being able to take good shots is, is pretty great. Yeah. I, yeah. I really like the, the onesies, twosies spread out, you know? <laughs> What all kind of 
of bad injuries do you got from playing football? Like what hurts the most? You know, I was pretty, I was pretty fortunate. I didn't have anything too crazy. But that being said, I got a four-inch tear in my leg around my shoulder labrum that I need repaired. So that little stuff like that. Hopefully, it's not in your right shoulder. No, nah, right shoulder's all right. But there's never a good time to get it fixed. You know, it's a six, nine-month uh, recovery. My thumb. That's about as. It's about as much as it works. I oh, had it. Uh, let me see huh. that thing. I broke it. Uh, I broke it twice in the joint, and so they they did a procedure where so they. Can't move it like this? I can move it. I can't. No, the tip of the thumb doesn't go up anymore. But um, man, yeah, I tell you what, folding clothes, picking up kids, you know, babies and stuff, it gets caught under there. But they did a procedure where they took the ligament, they split it in half, turned it around, and tied a knot through it, and that's kind of holding this joint in place. They said I have arthritis when I'm older. I broke my jaw. They tied it off with a knot. Yeah. What kind of knot they put in there? It was called a, oh, <laughs> a fisherman's knot. Yeah. Uh, I broke my jaw in uh, 2019. They wired it shut. I had to eat all my meals through a blender. Just had a chicken stock. For how long? Uh, I had it shut for probably about four weeks. One time they, they, they have you walk around with pliers, wire cutters, because if you ever vomit or get sick, you go, Oh, no it. So you get your own little set of wire cutters. I had my own little set of wire cutters, but I, uh, uh, I, I, almost, I almost needed them one time. I was working out, and I started, you know, breathing too hard. I, you know, teeth are all clenched. I'm trying oh, to shit, focus man. on my. Yeah, yeah I, I was. Air. Yeah, because you just, you know, couldn't get it. But I, I, I cooled off and just had to take it easy for a minute. No way. Otherwise, I, you know. Ah. Get him. Get him. Damn. Scared him. <laughs> First miss. I thought we were going to go a thousand. That's a tough shot. If you injured the hell out of someone, would you ever send them a note or send them uh, flowers or chocolates or some shit like that? Or is it just like you guys just leave it like professional? I mean, you just leave it professional unless they. You never hit. say, like, hey, I'm sorry, I really messed you up. Well, no. I would say. I'm just trying to think when someone would reach out. Like someone might reach out if it was unintentional, or but but yeah, and maybe their 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 season is over. Um, you know, or, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to think of an example, but uh, you like know, the dude that broke your jaw, he never said that. Hey, no, I'm sure he never knew. You know, he probably didn't even know it was him. Um, but he didn't do it on purpose. A lot of the injuries, it, it's it's just part of the game. So you, you you're more so. Yeah, if I shot Max in the foot on accident, I would say, hey man, I'm sorry, I shot you in the foot. Yeah, but you're you you're you're not competing against him. Oh, yeah. yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you right could. Now I'm competing against then him. why don't you <laughs> give it a shot? Literally. Right. Right. Here. Chili, grab your shotgun. Gra Come on. Come on, let's get yourself a Come on, Chili. Just left you. Wait, you want to use this? No, 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 you did. You heard the safety talk? Okay. Yep. Don't throw the safety until you, until you clear the blind. And then when the dog goes out, hold tight, unless instructed otherwise. Hey, Chip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the only one ever made. Yeah, shoots the bullets off to the left. That shit never happens. Chili, if there's any hesitation on your part, I'm gonna smoke it first. <laughs> you guys can tag too. A little. Unless it's just like right in our faces, then please do do yeah. Just turns to a. But you can tag team if it's in remotely questioned. I don't know if you've heard, but I'm notorious for making bets with people. Yeah, what's uh? <laughs> So, what, is, what would the bet be? What, yeah, you got anything good, Clay? Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> I brought my Super Bowl ring. <laughs> oh my god. Get him, get him, get him. 
Oh my god. That left is shot. What do you think about that? I had to make Clay feel better. He's a guest, so. I think next time I'm gonna take the shot. Oh, there it is. North. Good girl. Lead him. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. North. Was that Chili's? No, that no. was not you, dude. It was? Yeah, it was all cool. <laughs> I was trying to give it to him, Chili. I'm sorry. He's pretty good. Pretty good <laughs> for, for a washed up NFL player. Get him, get him, get him. There he is! He got two teal. Sort. No way. Did you get one, Chili? <laughs> think so. <laughs> oh, I got that one. <laughs>duck hunting is, is is lots of fun it's uh i'm not sure how it correlates with football but i will tell you though from a hunting standpoint you know it's one thing when you're sitting in a in a blind hunting deer white tail whatever it may be but i mean there, there's always so much action you're trying to call them in you don't know which way they're going to go and, and how they're going to react so in that regard it's 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 um it's very fun and, and kind of that energy that you have that you have to maintain the whole time knowing that at any moment a duck could fly right overhead Steve, you bring enough for everyone, or? This is the last one left. You That's can tell how long it's been laying around, because look at that color. Right. For the viewers, that's the beaver leg, right? That you're eating? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I should make a... Um, smoke I should beaver? make a turkey leg. Yeah, I'm going to take a beaver leg and make a smoked turkey leg and see what it tastes like. Yeah. Same recipe. Yeah. No, oh, that's... Makes sense. I'm going to credit you with that when I do it, too. That when people start vomiting. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that, man. That'd be a great idea. Do the exact same thing. And start off as a joke, but it sounds like you're serious. This is how all duck plucking starts with, like, somebody kind of, to use Steve's phrase, Jimmy dicking around. Just about to sit down on the Meteor Podcast. We had an awesome morning of duck hunting. We did. What's your quick and dirty recap? Well, we got out there. There was almost immediate action. I was four for four, banging them out. Hit a little cold streak. Then we had some some golden eyes and some green wing teals come in there, and, and we finished the day off with a successful hunt. I would say. Is that all you got for stats? I like how you hit the stats no, right out of the gate. If you was doing it right, you just said we scored early. And stayed ahead. Oh, are we doing the <laughs> pun, <laughs> the football pun? <laughs> it, it was it was a good day. That was my first time duck hunting. Didn't know what to expect. I was just I was more than happy that I actually connected on most of the ducks out there. So first uh, duck hunt ever. It's a first duck hunt ever. It's a big W. Hopefully, there'll be many more in the future.